Shosugi Ban and uh, the burning of the timber, we're going to create a decked area, but we're going to make it a decked area using this this profile. And this is uh, an eight by three. It's a graded product. If you look at it, it's nice and smooth. And uh, there's nothing wrong in having smooth decking. It, it is a choice. If you look in the marketplace out there, there is smooth decking. It, it's whether the client wants to tolerate all decking gets slippy or wearing courses, wearing courses, i.e. being paving and block paving and tarmac and even the roadside will get slippy. But we're going to be, anyway, we're going to be using uh, this profile, you can see, and uh, we're going to create show sugi band. We're going to do it by using... Um, a circular decked area okay and it'll, it'll appear when it's finished to have a cantilever effect over the new grass that we're going to be putting in but if you look down here this is how I'm creating the circle now is by basically I've got a fixed fixed point here on my tape I'm going to turn this around now just to show you and what happens all I'm doing each time is a fixed point and that's my shape so I'll cut that off with a hand saw now and with a saw it this urban saw is going to allow me to cut to the shape that I want and remember though it's cut what we're going to be doing when we burn this timber and we're going to burn this tim timber in situ we're not going to burn it beforehand we're going to burn it when it's on the ground and we're going to give it a good scrub there but it's an 8 by 3 so as a decked area it's going to last That's the, um, the outer edge of uh, our circular decked area. It needs a bit of planing there, but I've cut it with this Irwin handsaw, and uh, it's absolutely perfect, really. I, uh, I'll plane it up. But remember, with the Shosugi band, we're going to be burning all this edge as well. So I'm going to give it a plane, just a little bit of... I've, I've got off just a little bit there, but I'll plane that down. But remember, the idea about Shosugi band is to create an antique look and an aged look with the timber so if you go off a little bit it's not so bad i guarantee you somebody's going to say on the video why didn't i use this tool well the tool that you're referring to i haven't got what i've got is a jack saw and as you can see it's doing the job bit of arm ache but it's good exercise this is the final cut that we're going to do on this let's describe it as being a wheel a disc a circular decked area but this is the final cut and what we're going to do in a sec, we're going to lay this flat, we're going to get some cross members on here, we're going to coat screw them from the underside, and then there'll be no fixings showing on the top of the jacket. Doing. We're going to be making decking now out of uh, an 8x3 timber. Let me just show you the profile now. So we're going to create a decking system using that profile. Okay, normally what you find sometimes you'll have, this is uh, 75 mil, and what you see sometimes is the decking is normally about 36 mil finished decking. But as you can see, that profile, it's said that you're going to get 15, 12 to 15 years out of a decking system if it's done correctly and you get the good correct aeration underneath so it stays dry with this deck in we're going to have good aeration underneath but if you look at that you've got a 75 mil profile and that's going to last some time okay just a quick reminder we're making a circular decked area using an 8x3 profile you've seen that in the last video and what we're doing is we've got a center point and we're marking this circular shape we're on the last cut now and uh, we are doing it with just a jack saw an ermine saw and um, it's coming on and once this is all cut now we're going to put some cross members across timbers we're going to turn it over and we're going to bolt it down and then we're going to get that in position probably tomorrow and then hopefully we may be burning and we'll be doing the method called shosugi ban the uh, traditional 
method for uh, preserving wood and uh, giving it that antique look. Well that's definitely secured now. We've got these joists going across there, we've got the end bit screwed in as well, so that's not going to go anywhere. So what we've got to do now, we've got to flip this over, get it to a height, and then we're going to start simply just start burning it off, set fire to it. Let's do it. Josh, I think we've got the wrong size for the cheese board. This was meant to happen. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, it is. Lovely. It's like a big cheese board, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? You know, lovely. obviously, that little edge like that, we need to sand that down and burn it. Look at the green in the wood. Yeah. So the, the proof will be in the pudding now, won't it? Hey, we're colour coordinated for the video. <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. No, but It's, uh, it's done and uh, I think the important thing with the show Sugi band is to keep going until you get the desired effect and unfortunately what you can't see from the camera if you look down from this angle Josh our viewers might still be able to see if you look down the grey it has got a worn feel about it you can feel the ups and downs of it it's probably going to have to have another good scrub with a brush again but as you can see we're getting all the dust off and it's working and um, what we were using before is was this one of these and obviously it doesn't compare with one of these you can iron one of these if you, if you don't want to buy one but the intention is that we're going to be doing a fair bit of this again so we've got a bit more of a commercial use out of that product than the smaller one um, the idea of, of using the water on it is obviously for health and safety, but what it actually does is when you get the water on there, this is apparently, I'm not an expert on it, you know, I've done it a few times now, but I believe what it does, it hardens the product off, okay, and it just makes it that little bit harder. But once the, we've gone through this process and we've got the desired look that we're looking for, we'll put it in, in, in position where we want it, and we'll get the client to walk on it and have a look around and he can check it out and then we'll give it another scrub down and if he wants a more of an aged look we're probably giving it we'll give it a, a third burn all right we've had two burns on it we'll give it a third burn on it okay so if you look down here of course i didn't have much of a gap beforehand but as you can see i've burnt the edges now it's revealing the gaps in the wood giving that period look if you look down here you'll be able to see it and the wood's very undulated. It's not straight like it was before. And that's what gives it that age look. So if you're after that sort of look, you just got to keep going to, you get the look that you're looking for. I think the thing about the Shosugi band and, and this, this, this area, this decanary we created is that we're trying to create an oriental feel and uh, you know, you judge for yourself. Um, I think it's got a bit of an oriental feel about it. It certainly does look it, like it to me. And um, I think we've achieved that. And we've got good balance between the, the garden office and the decked area and the granite paving in this garden. So we're gonna be doing a secondary disc, but smaller, and that's gonna be a step down from the larger area. This area is for a small table and two chairs. So our client can sit there, it's going to be in a sunny position, sit there and enjoy the rest of the garden. It's big enough. And the wrap around on, on the back, we're using some grasses and some pebbles, creating a bit of texture, it's going to, it's going to come alive.